This Tinder Business News now with Nona. And Nona Hellaby Holdings are back. The sequel from last night. They That's say right. a surprise takeover offer from Australian par an Australian car parts company is opportunistic. That's right. And it wasn't enough. Well, they're saying it's not enough, and they're saying, in fact, there's some question over whether or not the company is worth uh, more is two pieces, that's car parts and the electrical uh, piece of the business. There's a couple of pieces that go nicely together, and Hellaby has been working on a, a restructuring of the business for a while. Um, so they had a, another chief executive before he's retired from the business, and we got a new uh, chief executive who has been working through this transition. So this sort of surprised them. They weren't expecting that. Three shareholders, that's worth about 30% of the company, have agreed to sell to the Australian company uh, BAPCOR. But, yeah, the, the hell be saying, no, no, wait, wait, don't sell, because really um, this company is worth more than what that offer is. And is advising shareholders to ha hold off and uh, wait for some formal documentation and independent valuation and further advice from the company. I remember you saying yesterday it was a 9% premium on current market price. It was. What the offer was? Yeah. Okay, so Hallabies is simply saying it's not big enough. No. Taiho until we get an independent valuation. And interestingly, the price went up a cent yeah. today. So just like it was yeah. 3.30s the offer, it was yeah. up at 3.31 at the close. So I don't know. I guess maybe people are expecting more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or well, hoping for more. Hoping uh, for more. Uh, the WTO has slashed global trade forecasts to their lowest pace of growth in a decade. Why? What's going on? Well, it looks like um, the anti-globalization movement is having some impact. Is it? That's what uh, the WTO thinks. But they're warning that that is uh, a serious concern because up until recently, up until well, I think 15 years, it's been that the trade has outpaced economic growth. So world trade leads economic growth in that sense. So if it starts to lag behind, there are some concerns about what that means for economic growth generally. And not only have they reduced their forecasts for this current year, but for next year as well. So it is a concern. They're saying, look, you know, fair enough. There's people who don't like uh, trade deals. And we, we can name a few uh, names here. No, Donald Trump and I guess Hillary Clinton as well are a little bit put the kibosh on the TPP. So we'll see what happens. But what the World Trade Organization is saying is that world trade deals benefit small co countries as well as large ones. If that starts to slow too much, um, that could have a really this ugly is curious. Okay. This is curious timing after TPP got a mention in that debate yesterday. Yeah, that's right. Trump's emphatically ruled it out. Clinton has eventually ruled it out. Yeah. Whoops, Daisy, here comes the WTO. But look, the new figure is 1.7% that's down from their previous estimate right. of 2.8%. That's a significant Yes, it is. Difference. So you were taking this as a good faith announcement, Nona, and not intervention in the US presidential elections, although there's no one anti-TPP in the running anyway, is there? So. Well, I don't know. I guess... I, but I think it's a general, more general than that. He's saying that this has happen, been happening over time. Look at Brexit. It's a lot. A lot of it yeah. is the same sort of deal. Yeah. No one pro TPP running, I should say. Right, top 50 closed at... OK, so the top 50 actually closed up half a percent. A rise of 38 points to 7,290. Our dollars trading at 72.7 US cents, still holding quite strong there. 94.8 Australian and 55.9 British pence. Nona Pelsier, thank you very much as always.